Hello kids, welcome to my channel Maths Fun Learning. I'm your math teacher Rashi. In this video, we are going to learn circumference. Oh, circumference. Don't afraid of this big spelling circumference. Do you know circumference and perimeter both are same chase? Same thing. How? Okay, let me explain you. As you know that perimeter is the sum of all the boundaries of all the boundaries of the shape which is made up of straight lines like that as you can see it here this is a polygon shape yeah because it is made up of straight lines so the perimeter is the sum of the boundaries of all the polygons and the circumference is also the same thing mm -hmm. no here a very uh, difference is here in both of the thing both of the words circumference and perimeter that circumference is the perimeter of a circle shape or shape which is made up of curved line okay so the perimeter is the boundary the, uh, we have to measure the boundary of the straight uh, shape which is made up of straight line and the circumference we have to measure the circum uh, circumference of the uh, shape which is made up of curved line so here is the difference only the same differences the c for circle that means it is a perimeter and perimeter you know that it is find out the sum of all the sides so okay as you know that this is a circle let's find out the circumference of it yeah circumference means the outer boundary we have to count it let's do one small activity so I cut this uh, circle from one paper. You can also cut one circle or you can draw that circle, one circle in your notebook. And take a one thread as I have this now. And what we will do, we just try to put it outside of the circle or the boundary of the circle. Okay. It's quite difficult but we have to find out the circumference or the perimeter of the circle. See it is a curved line that's why we use here thread. Look the thread reached here and you can see so that means this thread is perfectly outer boundary of the circle. Now we will measure this thread with the help of the scale let me see how much what is the length of this thread okay here till here it is till here it is 15 centimeter and 15 plus 7 so total is 22 centimeter this the thread the length of the thread is so that means the outer that means the circumference of this circle is 22 centimeter yes okay but is it quite difficult method say so, uh, we have to always uh, use this activity to find out the uh, circumference of the circle no there is a formula to find the perimeter of the circle or any curve shape figure Okay, let's see what is the formula to find out the circumference of the circle. Before understand the formula, first we have to find out the center point of the circle. How do we find out the center point? We have to divide the circle into a half properly. Fold your circle. Very good. Now again fold it half so you can see it is a one-fourth part of the 
circle now open it if you open it you can see two lines when they intersect and you get a you got a one center point this is the center point here so this point is called a center okay so i will give this point zero sorry o now you can see that circle is defined as a shape with all the points are equidistance from a point at the center so this is the point and if you can measure it this uh, the boundary of the circle you can find all the boundary is the same is in the same length yeah it is in a equal distance like 3.5 here 3.5 here so that means what is this the boundary is in a equal distance from the center if i'll make a line here this line which i draw it here we call it radius and the radius is same wherever you mark a line from the center to the boundary if you can see it here a one more line is join the center and you can see you you can find it a one big line yeah when if and you can notice when you divide this into a two half portion two half you can see the one this is the line where the circle is divided into a half so now this full line which is from starting from the uh, uh, boundary or from one side to the other side which is and through the center is moving going through the center this is called a diameter so this big line is called a diameter diameter and here you can see from the center you can see diameter means there are two radius one is here one is here okay i will just mark it a and b so you can see there are two radius radius ob and oa which both are gives you a diameter this is the length of the diameter and diameter is also called a longest chord longest chord of the circle okay so now i will introduce one more beautiful uh, member of the uh, circle in which you can see in a uh, formula of circumference that is pi pi yeah isn't it beautiful name pi yeah. pi is a special mathematical constant with the approximate value is 3.14 or 22 by 7 so we used here radius which we donated r diameter which we donated d okay through so that these things we will form the mathematicians form a formula of circumference c is circumference of circle equal to pi d pi is the mathematical constant special constant and d is for diameter and kids you know that diameter is equal to 2 radius yes you can see it here diameter is a longest chord it has 2 radius that means diameter is equal to 2 radius 2 times radius so r formula you can make with the radius is circumference 2 pi r instead of d we use 2 r so this is the formula of circumference i hope you understand this if you like this my this video please subscribe it and share with your friend and please press the bell icon thank you